And welcome back, rail fans. Welcome back to Mr. Steve's Trains. And I am your host, Mr. Steve. Today, we're going to talk about my summer build. Uh, it was kind of an impromptu build that all happened by coincidence when I took a drive past the Canadian National Rail Yard up in Flint, Michigan. Big yard up there, big yard. Uh, I never really gave Canadian National much thought. When I was getting into trains, my love has always been with the steam engines. Love those steam engines. Uh, and then I thought, well, we're going to diversify a little bit. I'm going to show some of the modern stuff. And so we, I started getting into diesels. Um, it wasn't until I went past the Canadian National Rail Yard and I thought I never really knew much about Canadian National other than it was a Canadian. It wasn't American. So I went and did my homework and by golly, Canadian National is much of, of American Railway as anything else. It has a long, rich history here in the United States. And uh, we got a couple fun facts, or late fun facts here on Mr. Steve's Trains. So real quick, give you a little background in Canadian National, which serves Canada and it serves the Midwest to Southern USA. Uh, it came about on June 6, 1919 till 1995. Now, hold on. Hold on. I know you're going to say, well, what do you mean 1995? It's still running today. Hold on. Hold that thought. Uh, Canadian National acquired railroads such as Illinois Central, Grand Trunk, Wisconsin Central, Duluth, Mesabi, and many others. Short line of railroads over the years. Uh, the Grand... Uh, GTR or Grand Trunk Western, it was absorbed into CNR January 1923. Now, Grand Trunk, original Grand Trunk Western came about, uh, I think it was 1854. So we're, we're talking, it's a long history. So it was absorbed by CNR in, uh, what did I say, 1923. But it still acted as a subsidiary of CNR until 1991. So it was Canadian owned, but acted as an independent railway uh, running the main lines ran from Montreal through Chicago. Uh, I know there's lines that were running through Michigan. Somewhere around here, I got a map. If I find a photo of the map of GTNR, I will include it into this video. Um, in 1998, 19, excuse me, 1998, CNR acquired Illinois Central track lines from Chicago to New Orleans. So if you, I'll show you that photo later. You'll see the lines that run south, which I had no idea CNR ran that far south. So that was a surprise to me. When I started building my CNR train, because you know we see them around Michigan all the time, and I thought, yeah, why not? It's a you know, you know there are beautiful engines. Love the uh, the red, black, and white color scheme on these engines are nice, classic. And they just had a 100th anniversary, so that was another reason I thought, let's do something different. Let's think outside the box, and we're gonna run we're gonna run this Canadian train. Um, second second part of this. Uh, we're going to talk about Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, my brother-in-law and his family, he grew up there on a farm in Saskatchewan. Will he see this video? Might, maybe. We'll find out. Because he, he's a Saskatchewan boy all the way. Great guy. Great to my sister. Good husband. More than you need to know. He's got beautiful kids. Matter of fact, his, his uh, daughter's getting married next week. Next week after this video, when by the time it airs on Monday, next Friday, cool. Mr. Steve's going to a wedding. So uh, talking about Saskatchewan, because we got a couple cars with the Saskatchewan road livery on there, which I was really, really happy and pleased to find out. Um, the Saskatchewan state flag is green and yellow, which you'll see. The uh, state flower is a western red lily so that's gonna you're gonna see why here in a moment when I show you okay um, and that was in 1941 the western red lily became the official flower of Saskatchewan 
Fun fact, uh, Saskatchewan, once known as the breadbasket wheat province, uh, it has over 40% arable land in Canada. So all the farmland in Canada, 40% of that farmland is in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is big, real big, real flat. Long winters, it's way up north. It's like 22 hour drive north of Michigan. So yeah, it's up there. Uh, Saskatchewan also included as uh, its major exports is coal, zinc, gold, silver, not to mention it is the fifth largest producer, oil producer in North America. That, that's, that's no small feat. One mighty nice claim there. And Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan is known for uh, exporting of canoe oil and flaxseed oil. So we got, we got a lot of minerals and products coming out of Saskatchewan. And without further ado, let's take a look at my Canadian National Build, part one of two. We've got more coming, you know that. Right here on Mr. Steve's Trains. All right, here we are. We're gonna start from the front and pan our way on back. See, we got a nice collection of hoppers going on in this first part of the video. I will put a, I will include, if you see anything that's interesting, it sparks your eye with a Canadian National, I'm gonna put the model numbers at the end and the photo at the end of the video and you can just pause the video and copy the photo numbers down. Um, right here, we've seen this in a previous video. This is our Canadian National Caboose. We got our lights working. This is from MTH. This is from 1997. Now what I did, I took the liberty. Let's see if I can put a little light on there. I painted the bottoms of the lanterns. I painted this black right here on the bottom. Same thing on the sides. Looks pretty nice, came on nice. I just didn't like that big plastic lug on there. Now, if you consider doing something like this, all right, let me tell you, don't touch the top. Painting the bottom is fine. You're good there. But this top, don't touch it. You put paint on there, you ain't gonna see any light through it. Because looking at it from the front, visually, you get no light from it. The only time the light, you can notice the light when it's directly from the side going by. And you'll see the light coming out through the side of the hub. So if you, if you were to paint that black, you're going to get nothing out of it. You won't see any light through it. Oh, and this caboose, yeah, it does. It's nice. It has the nice chains on the, nice chains on the end. Like I said, there's no, uh, no conductor in there, there's no interior, but it's from 1997. All right, let's move along up here. Now I know this is the Rail King, slightly semi-scale, or semi-scale as they like to call it. But this car had such a Canadian Pacific, it had such a beautiful paint scheme detail on it that I had to pick it up. And this is from Brady's Trains. He has his uh, summer, I don't know what you call it, like garage sale days. And he puts a lot of cars on sales, sets up big tents out in front of his place. And you know, I shop there online. But this was just, it was too beautiful. It was like, I don't know, uh, $35 or something. And I thought, you know what, let's, let's, let's pick it up. Got a nice little Canadian beaver on there. It's got the road route. I don't think Canadian Pacific stopped in Saskatchewan because it ain't listed on there. <laughs> but it's the transcontinental trains, the Canadian, the Dominion. Pretty cool. It's got solid catwalks on it. Uh, I haven't really tried. I, I don't think they're opening hatches. I didn't want to pull on them to really find out. 
Nice detail. Got triple sprung trucks. Pretty nice. Typical brake wheel in the back. Nice. Nice car. Four bay hopper. Now on to the beauty. Oh, by the way, the Canadian National Caboose and this car, the Saskatchewan from Lionel, um, I picked them up through trains with a Z. They were on eBay and I, I picked up both of them. I got a good deal on the caboose. The Saskatchewan, not so much. Um, this car was from 2020, came out just before uh, COVID. Let's take a little closer look here. But it's, it is just, it's beautiful. I think there is a Rail King version of this car. But this one's from Lionel. Look at the beautiful see-through catwalks right there. That's just gorgeous. Love them see-through catwalks. Beautiful print detail on there. And again, this is the colors of the state flag of the province of Saskatchewan. That is the Western Red Lily that we talked about earlier, green and yellow. They did a really beautiful job capturing that in the car. And these cars did exist, and I will include a photo of that in this video. I would have loved it if they made it in a few uh, other road numbers. And you could run, you know, two or three on the track. But as far as I know, Lionel only had the one. And again, that came out in 2020. And then we down here, this little dream boat. This is also MTH Premier Line. Obviously, you can tell by the box there. Beautiful sprung trucks. Nice printing, detailing. The Saskatchewan Green Car Corporation. This one came out in 2023. These are still pretty easy to find. Take a little, little searching, but you'll find them. I love the uh, big long hatches across the roof. Again, we got our see-through catwalks. Beautiful detail. And our hatch show four bay. Nice. This one here, this car is interesting. And again, that's Saskatchewan. Uh, as far as I know, it's just a one road number. And then same thing with this one here from Lionel, one road number. Um, God, there was something I was gonna say about it and I plum forgot. Over here, this one, I seen this one around a lot. This was from the MTH Railroad Club. This came out 2009. Uh, if you go on eBay, you can find these listed on there all day. Um, I actually I hate to say it, but yeah, I got a pretty good deal on this one. A lot of them were listing from like 80 to a hundred dollars. I, I paid a fraction of that and I didn't even bet on it. That was pure luck. I just put it on my watch list, looked at it, put it in a watch list. I thought, well, you know, I'll come back to it later. And then by the end of the day, the seller sent me a private message saying, Hey, you're interested in the car. I'll cut you a deal. And uh, he did. And then he threw in free shipping. I was like, please, here, take my money. Right now, we don't have to ask. Just here, I'm going to throw it at you. You got to love that free shipping. Got a nice uh, separate chain on there. Beautiful detail on that. Are you ready for this? Right, we got our typical separately applied see-through hatches. And ta-da! It's just a great Canadian national on the backside. I guess that was the way it was done. Beautiful big red CN on there. Gray, gray wheel trucks. I like the, the wheel trucks that are gray. That's nice. It really helps it stand out. But yeah, good looking car. Gray on one side. We got 
Toucan Sam, rainbow colors on the others. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this last car here, this is my last bulk hopper. This here is an MTH. This is, I call this the old Canada. You got a beautiful wheat leaves on there. This one actually came, arrived a little dusty. Supposedly it was never run, but it's sitting on a shelf. This time we got molded in chain. This one was from 1997 as well, same as the caboose. So at least we got sprung trucks in there. I don't have any catalogs going back that far, but I'm sure I could probably find it in there. Still nice. We got solid uh, catwalks. 97, we didn't have the see-through cat, well, catwalks yet in the Premier line. I uh, got the long roof hatches. As far as I can tell, they don't open. I wasn't going to pry on them. But it's nice. Now, what's nice about this car, because I wanted something with the, the Canadian logo on it to really say, hey, this is Canadian National, this is a Canadian train. Um, 2017, I said this one came up from 97. 2017, Lionel made this exact car. And I found it online and I was almost going to buy it until I found, I found this one. Um, and again, because it was for 1997, it was, it was, I got a good deal on it. You know, I always, I always got to follow the good deals. Um, Lionel made this car, 2000. 17 and uh, yeah, it was a bit more expensive Newer But this one is in fine condition. There's no cracks breaks or any damage. No sun damage uh, Beautiful, I was very happy with it. I'm very happy with the uh, Collection of Canadian national cars so far. So without further ado Let's pop all these babies together and we're gonna take them for a little spin Join me right here on Miss Steve's Trains. See you in a minute. All right, we're back. That was a second for you. That was a couple minutes for me. We got our trusty Lake State Railway NW2 switcher down here. They're gonna be pulling our load today, followed by our Say Yes to Michigan, Detroit Mackinac boxcar on there. If I'm not mistaken, the Lake State Railway, they took over the Detroit Mackinac Rail Line. Uh, that was early 90, early 91, right around the 91. Um, it was either Detroit Mackinac or is Detroit Port Huron, P, H, and D. But without further ado, Let's get her done. See the red lights on the caboose? Not bad.
And once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Give it a little thumbs up on there if you enjoyed the content that I brought to you today. I appreciate it. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for part two. At the end of the video, I'm going to have those photos up with the ID numbers for any of the rail cars that we've shown here today. And until next time, I'm Mr. Steve. This is Mr. Steve's Trains. Happy rails.